Hi guys, so we're on quarantine day like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know anymore. Um, and I found myself really bored and finally I was like, you need to get up, you need to do your hair. Throw on a little That's bit of makeup, even thing. though we're not going wow. anywhere, and do something. So I came up with a DIY Mickey Disney pretzel, which I think will be really easy. These are the ingredients I think we're gonna need because I found a recipe online, but I was like digging through my um, things that I have right now, things are hard to buy at the grocery store. So I think I have what we need to make this work. So let me show you guys. So the recipe called for parchment paper. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use butter to spray my pan with. So we're gonna use this to make it not stick. Just like a little bowl and an egg to do the egg wash. It said baking soda, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna use baking powder. I hope that that works. You mix those two things together for the egg wash, and then you need two um, containers of crescent rolls. I have the grands. I don't know if it's going to work out as well, but we shall see. A rolling pin, your tray, a cutting board, and a pizza cutter. The first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven and, oh wait, hold on one second. I put these buttons in here when I told Johnny that we were pregnant and I still haven't taken them out because I'm superstitious like that. <laughs> So we're gonna bake, preheat the oven to 375. Okay, so the first thing it says to do is to roll out your crescent roll. So these always scare me when I open them. I don't like, I don't like it. Let's see. Okay, it says roll it out, and I think it meant literally roll this out. I don't think it meant I need a roller. And my hands were freshly washed, you guys, just in case. Roll it out. It's not really working. I think I need two hands, so I'll roll this out, and then it says to pinch together the seams, so roll it out like this, and then together the seams like that like that so I'm gonna do this for the whole thing and then I will show you guys when it's all rolled out okay so what I ended up doing why isn't it focusing was sprinkling a little bit of flour down pulling the whole thing up rolling it together and then rolling it out with a rolling pin because when I tried to do the seams together I did it the wrong way and it was just like coming apart so I put flour down rolled it out and yeah now it looks like this so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna slice with a pizza cutter uh, eight long equally long strips so let's see Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I'm going to say is that they're definitely different lengths. Um, and I only ended up using one crescent roll container. So it looks like this right now. They're not equal, but that's what it looks like. So it says take a strip and roll it into a tube. Like this. Oh, okay, blue. And I'm gonna spray my, so it doesn't stick. And then it says, this doesn't seem long enough. Maybe we'll use that one as a smaller one for like an ear. So we'll do a longer one. Because we have to be able to make it into a circle. 
Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Into a circle. I guess we just close it off there like that. And then we'll take the smaller one and we'll make it another circle like this. And then I'm going to cut this one into a smaller circle too. Let's see. I hope these taste good. They smell like how like the Annie Ann's pretzels, like in the mall, the mall pretzels, like how they smell. Okay. Smells like Mickey, kind of. <laughs> Smells like Mickey. Yeah. Is okay. it gonna expand though when it cooks? Like, is it gonna push oh, yeah, up against the side? Oh yeah, should I move it over? Uh. Okay. Shoot. Ah! Good? I would move them more to the side, the ears. To the sides? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'll do one more. This is just two of us. Except now I have all this gel. But it seems like this pan is not going to be big enough. Oh no. Okay. That was pretty good. Well, you're tickling my foot. I'll show my ugly unpedicured toes. Just looking at your helper. <laughs> okay. I think these are going to expand really big because it's like the grand. Oh, uh, well, that's too big for a year. Okay. Do. And in half. I bet yeah, these are going to be huge. Do you have any more baking sheets or no? We should, right? No, I don't have any more like this. No. I have like a cupcake. That here is too small. That's okay. That'll be like a child Mickey. So that one's yours. Okay. Alright, you know what? I think if I make it longer. And then, oh no, I don't have a brush to brush on the egg whites. What would you, what could we use? Can you use one of your paint brushes? Oh yeah, clean one? Sure, I'll try that. Yeah, don't use one with paint on it. I'm just eyeballing this. I don't really know how much. That seems good. I feel like egg wash could be just like eggs and milk. Probably. My trusty paintbrush. This hasn't been used yet, you guys, so. It also said to sprinkle it with salt, coarse salt, but we don't have any coarse salt, so we're working with what we have. This didn't really blend well with the eggs. All right, let's see how these two do, and then if they're good, we'll do more. We're gonna put it in the oven for, it says bake until pretzels are puffed. Let's do 10 minutes and then I'll check them. Okay, let's look at them after 10 minutes. Oh, they look pretty good. Um, they're a little not connected, but I feel like they're crispy and flaky and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do the rest of them. We'll let these guys cool and then I'll let you know how they taste. So they cooled off. 
but while they were cooling they lost their ears so I think what needs to happen is you need to like put the thicker side into here because when I did these the ears stayed a lot nicer you see so you have to just put the thicker side into the body I guess but um let's try it you first cheers cheers It tastes more like croissants than pretzels. Yeah. You essentially made Mickey croissants. Yeah. I don't know why the recipe says to use croissants. Unless you got sourdough. That's what I would use. Mm, wrong, good. It tastes weird with salt, though. Yeah, it would, right? Mm-hmm. It tastes good, but it's definitely not a pretzel. And, um, I would use sourdough. Yeah, you're right. It tastes good though. It tastes like a croissant. Yeah, a croissant. So we'll call these Mickey croissants instead of Mickey pretzels. Um, if you guys try it out, let me know. If you want us to try any more recipes, let me know. Make sure to comment down below, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.